Use your hand if you know of an adult with a bad back or bad knees. Yeah, it's because we walk wrong. Right? It damages our bodies. So instead of throwing this overdeveloped, incredible tool forward and slamming, instead I'm going to ask you to find your center and move from that. Find your center by sticking up your thumb. Go ahead. I know mittens are hard. Right? Sticking into your belly button and then letting your palm fall down below your belly button. I want you to now slowly shift from your hips. Try to keep your head still, but you're going to move from your hips or your center over your right foot and then lift your left foot. Okay. Staying in wide angle vision helps your balance. Next, when you come down, it's just barely in front of your, your heel is just in front of your toe that's supporting your body weight. And you're going to hit the ground with the blade of your foot. Those of you who do martial arts, the blade of your foot is that outside callus. If I could On the use a tree here. Part of your foot? Right here, this part. Right? So the edge of your boot, the outside edge. And then roll to full foot. And let your eyes come up off the ground. Your feet are now your eyes to the earth. If I feel a twig or a rock, I'm just going to move my foot. I can do that. I'm not throwing myself forward. From that point, once your foot rolls to make full contact, we can then slide from our center. Notice how your heel comes up automatically, the back foot. And then using your thighs and your butt, you're going to lift that leg, not push off. Now, I'm over-exaggerating this. But not really. This is how you do it in tall grasses or in the pond. If you want to move like a, a blue heron or a cat hunting, this is we call this the fox walk. Fox walking is a quiet, slow, fluid, and natural form of movement that uses your major muscle groups and aligns your skeleton so that it's a natural, organic, and healthy means of transportation that we've evolved into. We just forgot. Okay? So I want to give you a few moments to remember these steps. Lift, outside edge of your foot, roll, slide from center, and repeat. Lift, outside edge of your foot, roll, slide from center, and then go out like in a starburst away from the center of the circle for a few moments until you don't have to think about it. See if you can make it fluid like a dance. Stay in wide angle vision and listening for the silences as you go. two-thirds of the way there reclaiming your natural means of locomotion and I say that in all earnestness because I'm a tracker and I see how cats and dogs move and they're not stomping on the outside of the heel even bears and raccoons who are considered plantigrade walkers don't stomp on the outside of their heel they do the foot roll you were born with a c-shaped callus called the heel the blade and the ball of the foot for a reason. It's how we're supposed to locomote through our landscape. You'll go one-third slower than your dominant sustained flight or fight response gate of having a place to be and to get there, you know, appointments and that treadmill thing. But you'll see more wildlife and they'll see you less. You'll become less of a disturbance on their landscape. And you'll be able to move at greater distances because you'll be able to move for longer periods of time. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast.